What kind of loser would do that? Be a climate insurance agent? Like, what does that even mean? Protection from the political climate? Or is it like weather? I want to hear the dead dreams of that sad guy. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to be an artist. <laughs> well, you aren't. <laughs> anyway, well, well, until next time, you know I love my listeners. So catch you next time, guys. I'm worried my insurance isn't going to cover my puppet stage. I couldn't handle not performing my art. Sandy. Okay, alright, listen, you're gonna be fine. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you're technically fully covered. Since the property that was damaged is a part of your business, you're fine. Just as long as you provide proof that there was property damage. Thank you, thank you, thank okay. you, young man. Yes, no, it's great. I know, thank it's you. wonderful. It yes. Means okay. A lot. All right, see you later. Bobbio. <laughs> Heard you in there talking so old broad with some puppets. Now you're just out here watching time tick away, huh? Just like that coffee. You know, I got my eighth executive account. I'm making money now. Making money. Yeah, I don't know if I can... <sighs> what? Nothing. Hey, Big Bad Chad. Timmy! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Hi, right, Bob. Uh, when you get a chance, I need to see you in my office, in the doge, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, I can come by. Just uh, don't worry about it. Little couple things, but you know, come back to me after you're done with your break. <sighs> Bye, Chad. Yeah, catch you later, Terra Bear. See you at the lake. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you, man, Terra Bear's no joke. He is gonna maul your ass in the dojo. <laughs> Well, sir, I am sorry to hear that. Come on in. But if you had our premium climate insurance, next time that heat wave rolls around and burns your heirloom bonsai tree, that could be covered. And with a slight increase to your premium, you could be protecting your family, your property, and that's a Terry promise. Great. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. That's how it's done, Bob. We could have fully covered that bonsai tree. Not only did I avoid payout on our end, I raised their premium. I don't know if I like feel comfortable selling this stuff to these people, though. Bob, I thought you were a go-getter. But I see that there's a disconnect here. Do you think Chad... Do you think Chad's numbers are as low as your numbers? What do you think Chad's numbers are? I think you want to succeed, I just think you don't know how to succeed. You need to learn to tow the company line. And the company line is premium climate insurance. Now Bobby, Bob, what I need you to do now is go into your office and listen to those mother flipping premium climate insurance tapes and get some of that in your brain. Thanks. Hello, welcome to premium climate insurance sales assistance. Tape one, side A. The key to sealing the deal when it comes to premium climate insurance is knowing that the customer doesn't necessarily need climate insurance. What you listening to? I'm listening to training videos for my job. What's your job? I'm an insurance agent. Is that like a secret agent? <laughs> no, no. Sounds boring. Bob the insurance agent. That's disappointing. I thought you were being an artist or something. Who are you? I'm you. You're me. As a kid. But you're a puppet. You're a puppet. You just do 
don't have any strings. Have you happened to see any marbles around here? Marbles? My marbles! I have lost them. I think they're this way! Bobby, where are you going? Bobby! This is territory. You're mine forever now, Bob. You're gonna be one of the good ones. Bobby! The sword! You're mine, Bobby. There's nobody coming to save you, Bob. Oh, oh you're mine now. Help! Get him back! <laughs> Premium climate insurance. How to assure your customer it is not a joke. Uh, I'm still a part of the state. Yeah, have you been a while? Uh, private insurance isn't for everyone. But the value customer knows... Pay no mind to the faceless voices. They call you deep into the abyss. We're here for the marbles alone. Bobby! Bobby, we need you to run! In Monday, we need you in the kitchen to make coffee right away. Bob, we need you. Premium. Why aren't you an artist? Do you want to be an artist? I know you don't have a family. And you're a Do you like your marbles? I always knew you couldn't be an artist. I knew you didn't have the balls for me. You are a coward and you always be. This is your mother. I always told you you couldn't hold down a job longer than three years, and here you are again trying to quit. <laughs> <laughs>